Hello everybody, this is Bob Spachi here, back again with another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. In this episode, well I think it looks like the stage is getting set for a new piece of machinery. Hmm. Well, back here again in the same recording session as the last episode. Okay, yep, that's really loud over there, not going over there. So we need to make some wire cutters. That requires iron plates, iron rods, and iron screws. Okay, I know how to do the plates. They're pretty simple. So how, how are the screws done again? Okay, just wait for it to, wait, wait for it to load. All right, okay, we'll just find a lithium screw. Okay, it's a lithium bolt and a file. Lithium bolts are made by cutting rods in half, and rods are made with files. And let's see here. All right, okay, I think I know what to do. Okay, so let's go over here. And if it's shut, nope, it's not shut down. Okay, I'm just going to grab it and go. Okay, that's not going to be enough. Okay, I've already got an iron rod, so I can use that. Hammer, yes, I'll need that. And I'll take that. Okay, and get out of here as fast as possible. Okay, I think all my tools are off in the other building. Oh, and if you guys saw back in the other building, I did build another chest because storage was becoming a bit of an issue. So, okay, so I need the correct tools. So immediately here, I need a saw, and I need my file, which is almost broken. So might be time to consider making another file. Okay, so I take that to the iron rod to make iron bolts. And then, I think it's just like this? Or no, it's like that. Iron screw. Okay, let's take a look. Is that, yep, that's enough iron screws. Now I need iron rods, two of them. All right. And now I need iron plates, three of them. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Take the hammer. And that's the three iron plates. Okay, so that's everything there. Now we just need the wire cutters. So let's take a look at that. Wire cutters, or actually, I should probably specify that. So, wire cutter. That is quite the setup. So, I do need the file. So, okay. How do you make the file? File is made with plates. Okay. So, more plates, I guess. Take the hammer. Do that. Uh, now for the... Do I have to use an iron rod? No. Actually, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Okay, I need wood for a stick then. Do I have any? Yes, I do have some sticks. Okay, so going back down here, we take the stick, there it is, and we put it up like that. All right. What? Oh, I see what I did wrong. Not the ingot, I need the plates. Alright. Then do that. And I'll just do that. Use the wrong type of material, but it still applies. Screw. Okay, I need the screwdriver, which is up here. Okay, let's try this again. 
So the rods go here, the plates go here, the screw goes here, the screw the file goes here, the hammer here, the screwdriver here, and that's the wire cutters. Then take okay, just do that. So let's see what's next. Next is the hell is that? In order to get more machines, you'll need pistons. But not those amateurish ones. You need special ones, and I will, shall guide you in making them. So I need iron rods, iron plates, small iron gears, carpenter's blocks, red alloy plate, and cobblestone. Well, and fence, and a piston. Okay, so let's start at the very beginning. So I need four iron rods. So just one, two, three, four. File them down into rods. That's the four rods. I need two plates. And I'll be out of iron now. Okay, so now I need small iron gears. Okay, how are those made? Do, 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 do. That is not going to help. Small iron gear. Okay, so I need the wire cutter, the rods, and the hammer. So if I do this, I need two of them, so that makes sense. And then the wire cutter is here. Hammer there, and that's the two gears. Quite the achievement, if you think about it. Now I need carpenter's blocks. So go back here, carpenter. Okay, if it'll load. Carpenter's block. That is, okay, is this the right carpenter block? Yeah, that is. So that is quite the process. So actually this might be the, yeah, that'll probably be the better option. So or, let's see what are all the options. I can get, somehow you end up getting more by using better screws. Not quite sure how that would work, but. So yeah, if we use titanium screws, we can get 24. <laughs> okay, so. How do you make a wood frame box? A whole bunch of sticks. And uh, a wrench by the looks of it. So I don't actually have any wood. So I am going to go gather some wood and I think I'll probably make this off camera here quickly. So I'll check back in when I've made that. All right. I've gotten that taken care of, so let's see what's next. So next we need a red alloy plate. And I'd assume that it's made with, get this, red alloy. Except where did I put my red alloy? Right here. So I think just two should be enough. So go over here to the crafting table. Right there and there. There's the red alloy plate. What's next? Cobblestone, I already have that. <coughs> okay, yeah, I do have cobble on me. So next I need a fence. So, fence. Is that, a, is that the proper way to spell fence? Yes. Okay, so a fence requires some sticks and some wood. That should be enough sticks. Let's go in here, down, down, and down in the center. And that goes there, I'd assume. Or unless I need two. Yeah, just one fence. Now I need to make the piston. 
So if I were to make an assumption as to how this goes, I'd assume that goes there. This probably goes here. And probably this there. And these here. And probably those there. Yes, I got it. Okay, no fireworks display by the looks of it. Okay, so we've got a piston now. Now we can make an emacerator or a compressor and just more on diamonds. I think I've already found, yeah, I, did I find diamond ore? I think I did. Oh, I found a graphite deposit. So essentially I did find diamond ore because graphite is usually found in diamond with diamonds, seeing as essentially diamonds are just crystallized graphite. Finally, you're able to you are able to make a device that will replace your mortar. However, the no durability feature of this dev device comes with a cost. You need two diamonds for the grinding heads. Okay, so in the compressor, this rather simple device does a very important job. Compression. Its main function is to press nine ingots into a block, but it is also useful for a variety of recipes. For example, making firm tofu, which I've actually been thinking that we should do more of that because it would be a great use of our soybeans. And then, are you still leaving? Are you still living in your dirt hut slash co slash cobble hovel? How about letting in some sunlight? Grind up some sand and flint and craft some glass dust. Put it in your smeltery and pour it into a casting a casting basin to make clear glass. Hint: In order to use it for recipes, you have to chisel it. Okay then. So I think from here we go into making the macerator. So let's see what am I at for this video? Yeah, I think I might be able to fit it into this episode. So macerator. Okay, wait for it to load. So it requires some bronze fluid pipes, two diamonds, a bronze hull, let's see what else, two pistons, yeah this is quite a bit of a project. I might just like make the bronze hull and then call it good for this episode. Because I, you know what actually, I'll make the second piston. Because I think that's kind of deserving of its own episode. That's quite a bit of crafting. So let's go through making the through the piston again. So might as well just start with okay, we'll start with the fence. So down like that, down like that. And I still have plenty of carpenter's blocks, so I probably don't have to go get more wood, hopefully. And then oh one thing I will have to go get more of is iron. So I'm going to, maybe there's enough here, just maybe. Okay, so how did you make the gears again? Okay, so yes, it was just a plate and two rods. So I'll need four rods, okay, file. And then swapping out the file for a hammer, two plates. Okay, heading back in here. I don't think I need that iron anymore, but I do need a red alloy, two red alloy. And then just go like that. There's the hammer. There's the red alloy plate. So let's actually finish the gears. So the wire cutter goes here and then the hammer over here, I think, yes. Wow, that hammer is just clinging on by a thread right now. So let's see, I think I have everything then. So gears here, carpenter's blocks up here, red alloy here, fence here, and then cobble here. Okay, and there's the two pistons I need. And I should probably go to sleep now. So then, 
But yeah, I think I'll probably end the episode off here, here then, because there's quite a bit of crafting that has to go into the next, the next, st the next step, and I don't have any diamonds on me, so I'd have to go mining for a little while. Although I did hear that diamond veins have lava near them, or I could be thinking of a different pack. Yeah, that might be revolution that I'm thinking about. Okay, so so we've got these then. That I would have to get more bronze and tin for. More bronze and tin. Well, not bronze. Copper and tin. More copper and tin. And then some diamonds. So I, I have to do a bit of mining. So yeah, this is the end of the episode then. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on Wednesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Goodbye.